set. And away, Wells out like a shot. Narricott got away well, then back to Sharp. Wells going very quickly with Williams. Over on the inside, Frayne. Bit slow in the early stages. Into the straight, Wells will be just in front of Narricott, Williams and Cameron Sharp. Wells just in front, Narricott running a big race. Over on the far side, McFarlane. Wells just in front of McFarlane. McFarlane on the inside, but Wells just won, I think, from McFarlane. Cameron Sharp was third. McFarlane thinks he's won it. Yes, I'm going for McFarlane. He ran a magnificent race from the inside very fast around the turn I don't know shot. Wells lunged and I thought his lunge might have just got it for him but it's perilously close it's the closest thing we've seen to a dead heat since this competition started let's have a look at it in slow motion McFarlane's running over the top of Wells yes Ooh, dear. What? I'd say it's Wells from that the judge will call for a photo I'd say yes. might call for a second and third print Wells is running out of condition. He's running out of form there. He's throwing himself around, really dipping his head, trying to get every ounce out of himself. That's that's poor form. Ooh, lunge. Alan, the race took just over 20 seconds, and it's taken more than 20 minutes to decide who's won, and they've decided it's a dead heat. Yeah. Well, it's, I've never heard of it before, but uh, you can't grumble. It's a gold medal each, and uh, I think in all fairness, I've come here and I've got what I wanted, you know. Ricky, how do you feel about it? wonderful <laughs> i come here just expecting to make both finals and especially the 200 and uh you know here i am fighting with for a gold medal you know i'm really happy a gold medal for the men's 200 meters in a dead heat time of 20.43 seconds michael mcfarland representing england and alan wells representing scotland